There is research out there that 40 to 50% of ad spend is wasted. So let's say that your business is spending 10K a month in ads. $5,000 isn't doing anything for you. But in today's video, we're gonna review a super simple, non-technical tip to help you optimize your Google Ads account that can put some money back in your pocket. If that sounds interesting, let's discuss. Hey friends, if you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Redgate and I'm passionate about helping small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have what it takes to manage your own online marketing campaigns. If you find the content that we're about to discuss valuable, I would be honored if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to help me create more videos like this to help businesses just like yours. All right, let's talk about one of the easiest optimization tips that you can do in Google Ads, and I'll also show you how a lot of advertisers do it wrong. Today, we're gonna discuss a technique for adding negative keywords. If you've never heard of it before, a negative keyword is a type of keyword that prevents your ad from being triggered for a certain word or phrase. In other words, your ads will not show to anyone searching that phrase. Just a heads up, you have the ability to add negative keywords in campaign types like search and standard shopping, but campaign types like Performance Max only allow brand negative keywords, and campaign types like Discovery and Display don't allow negatives at all, as these types of campaigns aren't keyword based. When monitoring your campaigns, it's important to make sure that your ads show for the search terms related to what you're selling or featuring. The main tools in your toolkit to make this happen is using strict match types for your keywords like exact or sometimes phrase, shameless video plug, or by staying active with adding negative keywords. As I said before, negative keywords are words or phrases that should not trigger your ad. Usually when advertisers are adding negative keywords, they add negative exact match keywords because that's the default option when you click or select a search term in your search terms report. Exact match keywords indicate to Google to never show your ad when someone searches for that exact keyword or phrase that you specify. But for most of us, manually adding all those negative exact match combinations can be tedious and time consuming. Yes, there is a better option. This is where phrase match negatives come in handy. Instead of excluding exact keywords, with phrase match negatives, you can opt out of root words in your search terms. Here's what I mean. Let's say that you have a shoe store and you sell every color shoe except for red. In your search terms report, you spotted the keyword best red shoes size eight. Obviously, since your store doesn't sell red shoes, you don't want to pay money for ad clicks for those types of search terms. Instead of entering every red shoe size keyword in combination as an exact match negative, for example, best red shoe size 7, best red shoe size 6, with phrase match negatives, all you need to do is one time enter the root word red with quotation marks at the beginning and end, and this will block any keyword in the future containing red in it. This saves you a lot of time and effort and helps you be more effective targeting your audience. If you didn't catch what I said before, phrase matches indicated by the quotation marks at the beginning and the end of the phrase. Besides saving you time and effort, you're future-proofing yourself. Unless there's an outlier, you won't have to worry that you'll be showing for that type of keyword that contains that root word that you don't want to appear for. I highly recommend being proactive instead of reactive with this negative keyword strategy. As you're starting a campaign, what popular search terms do you think that your ad will probably appear for that you don't want it to? For example, maybe you have a bakery and you know with 100% confidence that you don't want to appear for any search term that contains recipe. Or maybe you're a plumber and you don't want to appear for any search containing do it yourself. By adding these as phrase match negatives and being proactive, you'll save even more time and money and you'll have a more efficient advertising campaign. There you have it, a quick overview on how optimizing your ads with phrase match negative keywords can save both time and money and help you as you target your potential customers more effectively. I hope those insights were helpful for you and if you're looking for more money-saving marketing advice, visit scottredgate.com and subscribe to this channel to watch more videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.